To the JIFIC IMD and SMDC team, I want to take this opportunity to discuss with you the report of the Fort Hood Independent Review Committee. As many of you are probably aware, this report was released earlier this week. And yesterday, the Secretary of the Army, the Chief of Staff of the Army, the Sergeant Major of the Army, and many of the Army's senior leadership, both civilian and military, took the entire day to discuss this report, as well as some other issues within the Army that we're tackling. For the better part of the day, we discussed the report. And the Sergeant Major of the Army, he really put it the best way. He said after reading the report, he felt rage, he felt disappointment, and he felt failure. And he, the Sergeant Major of the Army, took personal ownership for those shortcomings and feelings that he felt after reading the report. So if the Sergeant Major of the Army could take ownership of the findings of the report, I would tell you, each one of us also have to take ownership of the findings of the report. You see, the issues that stem out of Fort Hood, they're not just isolated to Fort Hood. We find them in every formation. To the level and extent, that's really up to you as leaders to make sure that we're preventing any type of sexual harassment or sexual assault in our formations. So all the way from me to our newest private coming into one of the brigades or our newest civilian intern being hired on, it's incumbent on all of us to make sure that we are doing everything in our power to actively prevent sexual assault and sexual harassment in our ranks. So I've been in command for about a year now. And that during this past year, I've really tried to engender a sense of family and a sense of team across SMDC and JIFIC IMD. And with that sense of family, with that sense of team, I also hope that we've engendered a sense of trust. Because trust is key to ensure that our subordinates, everybody who works for us, will bring their issues forward to us. And that trust is is accomplished through engagement, through open communication. And I want to make sure that all leaders are communicating up and down the chain of command to ensure that we continue to engender that sense of team and family and we continue to build trust among the whole formation. While tough in a COVID environment, we need to make sure that we stay engaged. And that trust that I spoke about is developed through engagement through communication. And again, though COVID has restricted our face-to-face -face communication, we still have a lot of avenues out there for being able to communicate. I mean, MS Teams has been a great success story, but nobody said that MS Teams just has to be for briefings or meetings. What I would challenge supervisors to do is just open up your MS Teams meeting to just have a discussion with your folks. Talk about holiday plans, talk about the latest books you've read, talk about family, talk about sports, I don't care but engagement and open communication is critical to developing that spirit of family and that spirit of team so necessary for our organization to function. Please know that you have all the resources at your disposal from our SHARP program manager to the SARCs, to the victim advocates, to chaplains, to your chain of command, supervisors. Again, we're all part of this team together to make sure that your issue, your complaint, your challenge will get addressed. So in closing, if you have any need at all to talk about sexual assault or sexual harassment, we are all part of this family. So I would just ask you, reach out. Reach out to the right person, your supervisor, your leadership, a peer, whoever you need to talk to. Please reach out, trust that we will do the right thing because as part of People First, I make sure that whatever challenges you're having, we will address them head on and we will help you take care of them. Thanks again for what you do every day. I encourage you and commend you, take a read of the Fort Hood report. I will make sure that all of your leadership has it. And as, and as you go through and as you read the report, I think you'll also see where the Sergeant Major of the Army was coming from. You'll probably experience the same rage, disappointment and sense of failure that he did because of our organization. But together, we can all make sure that we move forward positively and fix this challenge. 
Continue to secure the high ground. Thanks for what you do.